Most people, when they're looking at a new place to start their lives over after loss of personal significance, recognize that a person has the right to stay in a community however they can afford, to check out places, to check out parts of a community, to check out parts of a city, to check out the people who demographically complete those parts. When we talk about parts of a community, we have to recognize that there is diversity everywhere. But we also have to recognize that there are people who don't want to believe that diversity deserves a care. There are people that will constantly harass and harangue a homeless person. There are people that will constantly abuse their own rights by pretending that they have rights to someone's electronics, someone's cell phone, someone's telephone, someone's computer, someone's property bags, someone's, well, life documents. That is a lie that people tell themselves. The lie that people tell themselves is, I'm in control of all I can see, and that's not true. The truth is that you are in control of only you. And when you cross the line into someone else's life without permission, without consent, you put incredible liabilities on you. And if you're doing that on behalf of a company, you're putting your corporation, your employment, and your employability at incredible risk. You see, it's far more risky to keep denying someone the opportunity to use Wi-Fi networks for free than it is to allow them to do so because of what you think of them today. Because who they could be tomorrow could be a corporate conglomerate that eats your entire fucking company for lunch. They could also be people that really appreciate you and regard you and teaches you something new to save you in a crunch. You see, you never know who people are if you don't know their life stories. And if you're not patient enough, or personal enough to really talk to them and get to know them over the course of many interactions that are positive and with the intent to be positive, then you're just a monster in disguise. Monsters like control. Monsters abuse people. Monsters harm people. Monsters think, I'm in control of this situation and I'm going to win something. Well, I'm going to ask you, what are you planning on winning? What are you winning by cutting my beard in the night? What are you motherfuckings winning by getting someone sexually assaulted in the night with your audio technologies and your ill will and your treacherous and treasonous, basically torture tactics? What are you winning by violating federal law thinking you're in control of someone's documents at all? What are you winning with your lies? What are you thinking in your sides? Because someone could turn around and do it all to you.